Share your memories with family and friends with a full color photo book. First, select the photos that you want to use or choose an event and then click the book button. Next, choose the size and type of book that you want, hardcover, softcover, or wirebound softcover. We'll choose hardcover. iPhoto provides a number of different themes that you can choose from to get started, but don't worry, you can switch themes any time if you change your mind. With the picture book theme selected, click Choose, and iPhoto begins a book for you. The photo browser at the top shows thumbnails of all the photos that you selected. To add a photo for the cover of the book, just drag a thumbnail to the gray box. The check marks that appear on the bottom of the thumbnails show that you've used this photo somewhere else in the book, but you can add the same photo as many times as you like. To modify a photo, click it and then drag the slider to resize the photo and use the hand tool to position the photo in the frame. For the book title, click the placeholder text and type over it. You can replace the rest of the placeholder text throughout the book the same way. If you want, iPhoto can do the work of filling your pages for you. Just click the Autoflow button and the pages fill with photos from the photo browser. You can always change the photos on the page by dragging them to different locations. You can also put pages in a different order. In the photo browser at the top of the page, be sure that the page view icon is selected and then drag individual pages to a new place. There are other ways to customize your book too. Let's say you want to change the number of photos on a page. Select the page and click Layout. Then choose a layout with the number of photos that you want. And you can also change your theme at any time. Click the Themes button and choose again from the sheet that appears. iPhoto will reformat your book using the same photographs in the new theme. If your book includes photos from your travels, you may want to add a custom travel map that shows the places you visited. Select the page where you'd like your map to be, and then click the Layout button and choose Map from the pop-up menu. With the location information of your photos, the map will show just where you were when the photos were taken. Even if your photos don't have location data, you can still use iPhoto to draw a custom map for you. Just add your map to a book page and then click on it. The Map Options pane then appears. To add a location, click the plus button and type in the name of the place that you traveled. You may have been to more than just one place, so be sure to add the other locations as well. Next, click the Show Lines checkbox. iPhoto will then create a reference map with arrows to show the places that you've traveled. If your locations are out of order, you can easily drag them in the Options pane to change the sequence, and iPhoto will change the arrows accordingly. You can use the Zoom Magnifier and Repositioning tools to get the map just right. When your book is finished and is exactly how you want it, click the Buy button your book will be delivered to your door. iPhoto makes it easy to turn your photographs into a custom, high-quality book that you can keep forever.